We're here at VMware Explore 2024 at the Venetian in Las Vegas. And today we're taking a look at Tenzig. Can you tell me a little bit about Tenzig? Yeah, I'd be happy to. So Tenzig are a thin and zero client vendor. We've been in business for just over 20 years and uh, we have a, a great long history working with, uh, with VMware and we're, we're proud to be here again at VMware Explore 2024. Um, maybe tell me a little bit about how you guys partner together with VMware. Yeah, so it's a great question because there's been some changes recently, but essentially how we partner with VMware is really in, in two ways. First of all, we have, I guess, an association with VMware in the sense that our mutual customers would rely on VMware as far as infrastructure. Um, so things like vCenter, for, for instance. Uh, and then uh, traditionally, we've also related to VMware in the past for uh, VMware Horizon and VMware Workspace ONE. And that uh, relationship has changed somewhat with, with recent acquisition, uh, where we're now working with Omnisa. But that relationship essentially continues with VMware, where again, we have a lot of customers already in, still invested in the VMware ecosystem for, again, the, the server inf infrastructure that's uh, involved in VDI deployments. And I see you have a bunch of your devices with you. Uh, maybe we could take a closer look and you could tell us a little bit about them? Yeah, absolutely. So as I mentioned, we've been in business for just over 20 years, but where the market's really changed, especially since the, I guess, the explosion of remote working through COVID, is that um, we, don't, we no longer have just, let's say, a, your traditional desktop form factor thin clients such as this one or, or, or this one, for instance, you can see that uh, we actually now feature uh, essentially a thin client-based laptop. So again, this, this was um, introduced and this is featured at the show to facilitate that mobile, the mobility aspect of working. But it's, I, I guess where it differs is that, again, this is a thin client-based laptop. So it has all the features and benefits that you would expect to get from a traditional thin and zero client. Um, what we're also featuring at the show for the second year running is Tenzig Repurpose. So again, through the need, I guess, um, after COVID, where organizations look to run um, a managed operating system on things like PCs and laptops, or maybe even uh, earlier thin clients, we're featuring Tenzig Repurpose here. And that's, again, our Linux-based operating system. And it's the same core foundation that runs on our existing um, and, and traditional models as well. Um, the other theme that we're featuring this year is the modernized thin and zero client. So again, it's a change in the market that we've seen where we um, allow much greater flexibility in thin and zero clients that have often been seen in the past. And we've had some great feedback through the show um, from our existing customers of how we've allowed to open up the, the clients to provide that greater flexibility to meet the demands of the market as it, as it is today. Um, a key thing is being able to allow end customers to apply um, plugins, for example. Another key thing is allowing us to partner with various other uh, technology partners that work in the ecosystem. So it's bringing all of that together and, and again, offering up the modernized thin and zero client. So running it on general purpose hardware, traditionally Intel and AMD based, um, and also having a, a very flexible and easy to manage and an easy to deploy operating system as you'll see later in the demo. And then just to wrap up, what we're also featuring at the show here this year again, um, for the second year running actually, is the PC over IP Ultra Trusted, Trusted Zero Client. So we have um, two models on offer here at VMware Explore. And, and these um, have evolved this year further with Omnisa Horizon. So they, whilst they support PC over IP Ultra for HP Anywhere, they now also feature Blast Extreme support for um, VMware or Omnisa Horizon. So yeah, we've given lots of good demos at the show and uh, had some great conversations so far. Well, great. We'd love to take a look at that demo if you could for us. Yeah, absolutely. I look forward to uh, giving the demo. So I'm going to be giving a demo today on the different flavors of our software platform. Um, and on the actual demo platform here, we have what's referred to as our NOS modality. And this modality is used for um, VDI connections, so predominantly to Horizon, as we'll give the demo here. And we also support this for 
uh, platforms like Citrix and uh, ABD as well. And then on the right hand side demo here, we're going to give a combination of giving a look and feel to what the operating system looks like as kind of like more a traditional desktop where we have a desktop with multiple connections that might open a, a browser connection, for instance, that we can use for demoing a uh, connection to the Tensig Manager, as well as connections to platforms, again, like AVD and, and VMware. But what I want to promote through the demo is this standardized endpoint UX that we offer for VDI and DAS. And um, the importance of that is the fact that that standardized experience can be very easily deployed. Uh, so you simply giving the users a, a secure portal to their VDI or DAS environment. And that can be extended not just uh, or deployed not just on Tensic hardware, but also on general purpose PCs and laptops as well. And that's what we're really recognizing as a kind of general demand in, in the marketplace at the moment that customers have and end users have a, a need to, to provide a secure portal to their VDI and DAS environment. And this is exactly what that software platform does. Great, let's take a look at it. Okay. So yeah, so as mentioned, we'll start first of, first of all here by just looking at the full desktop. So again, we can see here, uh, we've got three, essentially three connections. We could obviously have more, but we've got uh, an open Chrome connection here that's gonna allow me to connect to the Tensig Manager. And that's the key piece that allows us to manage all of the endpoints ecosystem. And then we have a connection here to AVD and a connection to VMware or now Omnisa Horizon. On the left hand side here is our NOS modality. So again, that's that secure portal. That's where you just need to give users a very simple access portal into VDI. Now, again, the importance of this is making, as part of the demo, is emphasizing really how easy it is to uh, configure this through Tensic Manager. So Tensic Manager is inclusive across all of the endpoints, whether it's our hardware or software. And it's very, very simple to make both individual changes to individual clients, as well as create templates. And those templates can be used then to deploy to any endpoints within, within an organization. And it can be done very simply, very quickly, and, and very easily. So if we, if we just start to look at these four clients that we have running here at VMware Explore, we've got the unit here on the left. And uh, I can um, query that, uh, that device and I can go in here and I can edit the config and again we can control everything on here but very simply and easily so for example let's look inside VMware Horizon and we can show how easy it is to make simple changes to that and anything that we're changing in here that's sent to those clients on the fly and it's done instantaneously um, so again we can do everything on there and then the idea is, is that once we have a, a client like we have here on the left hand side, we can do what's called generate a template for that particular endpoint. So let's say that that client has been configured as a base config and a base template. I can come in here and I can go to configuration and I can select here to generate a template of that. And what I can do is I can give the template a name, so I'll call it VM blog. And then at the point I click on create, what it will do is it will pull the, the config from that client and it will generate that template. And we can see here in the, the job log that uh, that template's already been generated. So again, it's instantaneous, very, very quick, very responsive. And once we have that template, it's then stored inside the, the Tensig Manager. So these are just essentially XML config uh, files, and they can then be deployed either on demand to any of those endpoints. Um, but more commonly, how the templates are deployed is they're, de they're deployed and attached through the configuration groups. But before we go to just give a demo of the configuration groups, if we just scroll through here, we can see there's the template that I just generated beforehand, the, the VM blog template. And if I go in here and edit that template, we can see we've got the subset of that config that uh, we generated from, from the client. And again, if I go in here and I select those VMware settings, we can see that they match what was, what was pulled uh, from that uh, individual client. Now again, going back to those configuration groups, 
they're available to us on the left hand side here so what the configuration groups allow us to do for any um, organization or any particular de department is they allow us to filter those clients into groups via a variety of different mechanisms so we can go in here and we can create a group and uh, we can call it again VM blog and the idea is is that we can then filter those um, clients again based on various criteria so most commonly we filter based on the actual platform and we also filter by IP range so again most typically any organization uh, will typically have clients that exist in a, in a particular remote location which is governed by IP range and they can then be filtered in there accordingly and obviously we see a lot of remote work use cases as well so we can also um, filter clients that are perhaps based at remote locations based on registration codes where they're coming from essentially dynamic um, IPs and that, um, that filter is set there accordingly with our secure agent registration code that again would be unique then to them, them home users. Now in the client configuration tab in here, this is where we can start to say that as any clients check into the man Tenzig manager through the uh, secure connector, we can then push that client configuration automatically. So again, taking that template that we created in the earlier step and associating that to um, the, the group. So again, those, those templates then exist in that uh, UI and they can again be attached to that group and what we can also do here very simply and easily is we can also automatically update the firmware from here as well so as well as the client checking in and us pushing out the the configuration template to them we can also automatically update their firmware to a, a base setting and then also we can name the clients according to a particular location as well so we can use the concept of prefix or suffix based on maybe a a particular location and or MAC address. Um, another key feature of the Tenzig Manager, so what we've looked at so far is the initial configuration and the automatic deployment, but another key feature is being able to shadow the endpoints remotely as well. So again, if we take the client here on the, the left-hand side, we've conveniently called it Explore Left, and when I select on the endpoint, I can click here in the toolbar to VNC and that establishes a secure connection to the endpoint on the left. And again, this can be done remotely, it can be done in a local environment like we, like we see here, and that connection, although it's based on VNC, it's actually tunneled through, through the Tenzig uh, secure connector, so it's, it's a bi-directional secure tunnel, which is secured um, through port 443 by default. So again, I'm now essentially shadowing that client through the Tenzig Manager web console, and you can see I can enter input onto that password field and that's me shadowing the user as if I'm an administrator. Now, connection into Tenzig Manager uh, web console is controlled through RBAC, so our role-based role uh, admin tool. And this can be tied to uh, things like uh, AD so that you can set up different roles and different privileges to allow users to um, either have a more limited feature set or an extended feature set depending on their their, their capabilities. So that kind of draws us to the end of the demo. Um, hope you found it really useful just to show again, summarize how easy it is to, you know, to deploy this secure, very standardized look and feel endpoint for connecting to VDI and DAS. Uh, so thank you very much. And where can people go if they want to find out more information about Tenzig and some of the stuff that you showed us? Yeah, that's, that's a great question. So you can go to our website, it's at tenzig.com and uh, there's various uh, information available there. We also have a free demo program, so we invite any customer who's interested in trial in Tenzig uh, to go to the website and uh, sign up for a free demo. Um, that includes both the our traditional Thin and Zero clients as well as our um, repurpose uh, OS that you can download and run for free on, uh, on PCs and laptops. Um, and just finally, we also have a really good YouTube channel where we promote all of our educational content for our for our customers and you know indeed the wider community um, for the likes of, of VMware and Omnissa etc. Right. Well thanks for taking the time to speak with VM blog. Yeah thanks Brian. Appreciate it.